Now, if Jesus was in the tomb two and a half to three days, and a day is a thousand years and a thousand years is a day, how long does that translate to? 2,500 to 3,000 years? Yeah. Well, that's why mm-hmm. we don't know the day or hour of his return. Right. It can be between the last 500 years, even. Right. Of this last thousand years since he died. Right. Now, it wasn't two days he was in the tomb, was it? No, no. Was it three days? It was three days. <laughs> right. It was three days, right? <laughs> so what would that translate to? Right. 3,000 years. Right, right. Stop rocking science, Christians. <laughs> but that's because if someone has a problem with Christians, right, all they got to do is institute John's Mark of the Beast, right, and you got the Christians because they know that's wrong to do. Right. See, Christians will try to stand up for your freedom not to receive the mark of the beast if you don't want it in your body. Right. That's what we will stand up for. Your right not to have to use that method of buying and selling. Right. In the first place. Right. We stand up for your rights. Right. Even if we don't understand. Right. What you want to do all the time, like being gay or whatever. Right. That's called... Some people in the Bible were homophobic about it, especially Paul or Moses, right? Especially those two men, right? <laughs> Moses gave them their law, right? And he said, abomination, <laughs> if a man lies with a man, is he lies with a woman, right? Now, this is from their holy written writings, right? So it's called an abomination by Moses, right? And Paul's telling you other things about them, right? right. And judging the hell out of them, I guess, right? So Jesus said, judge not, least ye be judged. That's why it gets confusing, right? right? Well, here's the point. I could work with a gay person, right? If we're doing a job, right? I don't care your sexuality outside the workplace, right? But if you're, again, right, wanting to date me and I say I'm straight, well, that should be a good enough answer, right? Right. If I say I'm straight and not gay, that shouldn't be a problem, should it? No, no. We're just working together, right? I don't want to date you, right? You don't want to date everybody you're working around, <laughs> right? That's the whole point, Right. But you do want to date certain people who are of age. <sighs> I keep stressing that. And in Georgia, the age of consent is 16. Right. Not 18 like they portray in the movies. Right. Not all states have the same age of consent. Fool. Right. Why do you think I keep telling you this? Right. You're not listening to the laws of each state. You're instead trying to imply one law for one state to all states, which you can't do. And, uh, that's going to confuse people. Mm-hmm. And a 15-year-old girl ain't supposed to be working as a nail tech in Georgia. Mm-hmm. Period, period. Not until she's 16, right? All she would have to do is wait a year. <laughs> if she was 15, I don't know no 15-year-old girls in the first place. In the first place. If I do, they were usually working at the movie theater. <laughs> Not a nail salon. Not a nail salon. <laughs> Though if I ask any woman who does my nails their age, I'm trying to get to know them as they're doing my nails. Right. Which, there's nothing wrong with that if someone's harassing you about it on YouTube. Right. <laughs> Before you even go into the store. Right. So you're just trying to make sure the girls doing your nails are legal. <laughs> Be able to do the job, right? Now, if they're not, they're the ones breaking the rules, not you. <laughs> you. <laughs> do you understand what that means, right? The law is clear on how old you have to be to work as a nail tech and be trained as a nail tech. 16, 16. 
don't stutter. <laughs> like, you're pretending, right? So, in Georgia, you can't work that job or start training that job until you're 16 and older. Right. Period, period. Do you understand that? Right. It don't matter if your daughter's working illegally for you. Right. You're working her illegally. I <laughs> know. You can't do that. Right. You can't let her work in the store. Mm -hmm. Now, she can sit in the store. She could, you know, monitor it for you as a security guard. <laughs> Maybe. If she doesn't touch anybody's feet or does their nails. Right. Well, whoever did my nails said they were 37 anyway. Right. Not 15. Not 15. And I don't know with Asian women how old you are. I gotta ask your age. <laughs> I would do that with a lot of Asian women if I go to a nail salon and they do my nails. Right. I usually do, right? Meaning you look young, so I'm trying to make sure you're of age. Right? Right. I'm trying to play you a cop a bit. <laughs> right. Not knowing what's going on, really. Really. <laughs> but I wasn't always mentally ill. It didn't happen until 2000. I mean, 1993, right? When I was around 23, right? That's why I was going to say 23, but right. And uh, now you can confuse anyone if you do the wrong thing yourself, right? And they make the wrong mistake, right? That can happen to anybody, right? Even happen to the girl herself if she lied about her age because she wasn't supposed to be working yet, do you? All she would have to do is wait until she's 16 and it wouldn't have been a problem either. either right? But then she probably wouldn't be tempted to have sex with me. <laughs> if she was lying about her age, which is what you're telling me she did. Right. Well, that's called perjury in court. Right. If you go to court for this, right, you're exposing the daughter lied about her age. Right. And that you were illegally working her <laughs> at 15. Right. And guess who's going to get fined or in trouble for that? You, you. Not me being the customer going into the store for the first time and not aware of that was the girl you were talking about, even if you were uh, talking to me about her on YouTube. Right. See, you're projecting the problem. Right. You're not preventing the problem. Right. To prevent the problem, you would have had to tell me the girl's age, name, and the place she was working in. Right. You didn't do none of that. Right. And there's a bunch of nail salons in Georgia. Right. Three per most cities or more. Or more. <laughs> there's three in Garden City. There's three in... Right. <laughs> there are nail salons all over the damn place, right? And I know three right off the bat in each city, in each city, you know. Or more, or more. <laughs> I live around, right? And then Savannah, there's probably more than three, right? right. They got um two in just the Oglethorpe Mall area, right? Right. They got two in the store itself, at least, I think, yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Right, and the first, as you come into the mall, there's one down the way, and then one shortly um, thereafter. There's two there, too. Mm -hmm. And then there's one across the way in the um, shopping center across the street as well. Mm hmm so that's three in that vicinity. Right. And they got a massage parlor. <laughs> a massage parlor. Anymore? <clears throat> One night in Baker, Kindle Wash, Oster. Well, you're impersonating people when you're doing that. Right. I'm impersonating. Right. Whoever did the song One Night in Bangkok. I think that was somebody he had drink. Forgot his last name. <laughs> first name, first name. But something he had drink, drink was his last name, right? Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> but I'm referencing as an educational piece, right? And using the song, Massage Father. Because <laughs> that's one of his lyrics. <laughs> At being in Bangkok, right? They got massage problems in Bangkok. <laughs> so he says, Massage Father. <laughs> and I'm trying to impersonate him. Do I sound like him? I think I do. <laughs> Now, if you don't, that's okay. You can lie. <laughs> but I usually hear when I change my voice to do impersonations. I ain't that, you know, crazy, crazy. To not know I'm changing my voice if I'm changing my voice. That's a different situation. That's not my elbow. That's not my elbow. <laughs> Or like Mr. Bill. <laughs> I'm the Mr. Bill, too. I'm the guy from the monkey, yo. You know him. Or who does the gingerbread man? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then you're delusional and on something worse than and, uh, people know about, right? See, being delusional about something don't mean if you're impersonating people when you can hear yourself doing the voices, you can't hear yourself doing the voices, right? That's a different thing, right? Usually, usually. <laughs> exactly. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.